Hello, this is Gregory Perosi with LifeWare News Service, and I'm here with Dr. Laura Martachi. And Laura, we'd like to know a little, little bit about this grant that you were working on. What is this grant that you're working on necessarily? Well, the Staten Island Arts Council awarded me a grant. The, uh, the name of the uh, project is called Unexpected Reviews. And the project is really about giving visibility to the artwork that's been created by folks who have special needs, folks who have disabilities, folks who have suffered heart attacks or things that don't allow them to return to their previous lives. We know they're making fabulous artwork and the artwork uh, talent needs no accommodation. We don't need to create ramps, we don't need to create special bathrooms. We're going to showcase the artwork, the real, real, really amazing stuff that I see being done at Lifestyles, at, at many of these other facilities. And these um, artworks are going to hang throughout Staten Island in 2017. We have several different venues already, College of Staten Island, Staten Island University Hospital, we have some public libraries, we have some restaurants. So people who would not normally walk into Lifestyles or into an art gallery will be exposed to the artwork that's being created. I work on bullying issues. I'm a sociologist and I work at Wagner College for about a decade. I was a dean there and a sociologist, and now I'm a consultant. I work with schools, I work with different organizations trying to create programming around bullying, trying to create awareness, whatever they need. Very good. Now, now Dr. Laura, who are you trying to give vis visibility to as well as, as far as this grant is concerned? I'm trying to give visibility to people who come and create wonderful art in a place like Lifestyles and it just hangs on the walls of lifestyles. I think we'd all be really enriched to see some of this artwork on the walls out in the community. Art and talent needs no accommodation. It's just the same for everyone. And I want people in the community to start seeing what a valuable asset special needs folks are, people who now have disabilities, how, how much they can contribute to enriching all of our lives. Gregory, I need to ask you, do you have a piece of art you're going to to us? Well, Dr. Laura, I do take a lot of pictures. When we're, when we're out, out, of the, out in the community, it's not only do we have the opportunities of doing uh, meaning work that we normally are, but we're out, uh, out in the community whenever, whenever Wherever we go, whether it be an exhibit, whether it be a person who has a, a job in a certain thing, mm -hmm. I'm able to, you know, I'm able to interview that person and also take pictures. So what you need to do is Joanne and Ursula and Dee, there's a website, so you would need to take a picture of your picture, maybe with an iPhone, and send it to the website. Okay. And then, it's not my person, it's a, it's a website set up. Um, an email set up, an email account for the grant, and you would send the pictures, and then we're going to have a group of artists get together and decide what pictures are hung. We're also going to have a website that's going to display a lot of the pictures that we have limited space, we can't display everything, so um, that's how we're going to do it. We're going to create a permanent place for this art to be. My name is Brenda Prosi with the Upper Indian Service. Thank you very much for letting me see Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.